two things. It could mean literally the firstborn, or it could also be a position where you are the one who is going to receive the inheritance. For example, Abraham's firstborn, anybody know what his firstborn? Isaac. Was Isaac the first one that Abraham bore? No, Ishmael was, but Isaac got the promises. So technically Ishmael is the firstborn, but Isaac is called the firstborn because he's the one that's given the covenant and the promises and all the inheritance. Jacob and Esau, who was older, Jacob or Esau? Esau was, but Jacob was the firstborn because he got the position. Well, in this case, clearly firstborn refers not to Jesus being the first thing God created, but it means the position that God gave to him. I'll show it to you. Look at how the verse continues. Verse 16, for by him, by Jesus, all things were created in heaven and on earth. Okay, so you see, you see the dilemma there? If Jesus was the first thing created and all things were created by Jesus, all things would include Jesus, which means that Jesus would have had to have created himself, which is impossible. So he couldn't have done that. He, he was the creator. He created all things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things were created through him and for him. Jesus is in the position of firstborn. All creation was made by him and for him, which means, listen, that in the creation, what you are looking at or what you are, are smelling, if you will, is the perfume of the creator. You are getting a sense of the artistry of the artist. In every great artist, there is a piece of the soul of the artist in the art that he or she produces. And you can get to know the heart of the artist by looking at the art. That's the way creation works. We look at it and it teaches us things about the glory, about the eternality, about the pleasurability of God. Everything that you love about nature. Everything you love about creation, everything you love about life is put there by God as a way of communicating to you about his nature. When you think about your greatest joys, your greatest hopes, all that you've loved, it's just, it's just a taste of what is in the heart of God in whose presence, Psalm 1611 says, are pleasures forevermore. These things are like scattered beams. God is the sun that they all come from. They're like just drops that we get. God is himself the ocean. 